Hey guys, Scott Poley here. I am a session pedal steel guitar player. I also play guitars and produce and write music. This is another video in my series about getting into playing pedal steel guitar, some of the techniques, some of the gear that you might need, all that kind of stuff. So in this video, we're gonna go over kind of the lesser talked about bit of playing pedal steel, which is actually <laughs> the bit that you do with your hands that's not the pedals or the knee levers, or even the volume pedal and all that stuff. If you want to know more about all the other bits, then there are videos on my channel. And if you like this kind of content, that I would urge you to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon because it will let you know when I release new videos, which I do every single week. Right hand. Obviously, I'm wearing thumb pick. This is just the blue Delrin Herco thumb pick. Um, it's kind of a medium gauge, it's not too heavy. I, I I find for me with heavier thumb picks, if I use them, they, they don't create the best tone, they too much attack, whereas this, I really would have to whack the strings one to get a super heavy attack. I'm using these Jeffren finger picks, the JF ones, um, and they're like so, they kind of go across the top of my finger because if you do it the other way, they flick off and all that stuff. So yeah, I've got that on my index and my middle finger. And unlike a guitar where you often tend to lead with your first finger, with a pedal seal, you tend to lead with your thumb and your second finger. So quite a lot of the string groupings are your thumb and your second finger. What else can I tell you about the right hand? Well, apart from, with both hands really, you should be looking at almost like a triangle. So you're looking at the top of your, your hand here. You've got this section, you've got that section. It's like a little triangle. You don't want it to be too flat. You equally don't want to be too high up here. You want to be resting the back of your hand on the strings so you can block, which you'll get to in a minute but that just creates a good playing feel. And the same thing actually on, on the left is that that same triangle kind of look is, is, is there. So we're talking about blocking. Why do we need to block? Well, let me show you. If I play this like, you hear there's loads of string resonances and all that stuff, whereas that lick should sound like this. with loads of individual strings. Blocking really helps. So, there's two ways to block. The most common way is what the guitarist would do really, which is putting your hand near the bridge to stop the note. Just literally as simple as that. And now we've retuned. I tune because I care, and you shouldn't have to listen to how to tune pedal steel. Right, so we're talking about blocking. Like I say, best way to block is like that. So you can see even when I'm playing licks, I'm just literally dropping my hand to create that. Really hard to do slow and show you. You see, it just creates a nice ending to notes. Now, the only trouble with that is if you want to go really kind of fast and do your all that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to block there, you don't have the time to keep going like that because your hand will fall off. So you get to pick blocking, what they call pick blocking. Now, it's a little bit hard to show, but I'm hoping with all the various cameras I've got set up here, I can show you. Pick blocking is where you use the previous pick note to stop the next note. So, so you can see here, I'm using, in this case, I'm just gonna play two notes. You can see I've actually got my index finger down on the first note here. So I pick it, then I touch that down to stop it. Whilst I pick the next note. So instead of that, you get this. 
So, pick, block, and play the next note at the same time. So do that more complex. You can see I'm... blocking each note. And of course, when you're starting to play fast, So, hope that's useful to you, and I hope you kind of get the gist of that. Now, these are techniques as well that you can use on lap steel. You can even use them on guitar, uh, playing slide guitar or, or regular guitar as well. It's it's a really handy technique to use that. So yeah, I'm doing all that stuff, and you can too with your pedal steel guitar, and also use your volume pedal and incorporate those pedals and the knee levers all at the same time. It's quite a lot to get your head around, but a bit of practice, and this instrument can just sit in loads of different styles of music, and it's it's one of the best things I've ever learned to do. It's, it's a fantastic piece of kit. Now, if you're interested in getting pedal steel on your recordings, then I record remotely. I have a great studio set up here, and you can message me and send me your tracks, and I'll put pedal steel on them. If you want more details about that stuff, you can log on to scottpoley.com, and we can go through all that stuff and I'll give you quotes and all that stuff for remote recording. I also offer remote lessons. So if you wanna to learn to play pedal steel, I'm on Skype, I can do Skype lessons. And again, if you wanna find out more information about that, then check out over at the website. I will also have a sample pack coming out soon as well. So you can download some of my licks and bring them into your music. So keep your eye out on the website for that. If you've got value out of this video and made it this far, then I would love it if you consider subscribing. Loads of pedal steel content coming up. And there's loads more videos on this channel already. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching.